Welcome back to Australia. Today we're going to be exploring areas that we haven't hunted before and we're going to be trying to find the sambar deer, the rooster deer, as well as the saltwater crocodile. And I also want to try and take some things down with the bow and arrow. Alright, so now we're actually exploring the forest part of this map. It's really, really dense here as you can see and we picked up a track from, I believe, a max weight feral pig. He was running this direction here, and we're going to see if we can't figure out where this herd is going to. Well, well, look what we just found out here. We got a nice access buck bedded out there at about 250, and there's also a herd of fallow over there as well. So we're going to try and pick out the biggest buck. Oh my god, and then we got red deer over here. Decent sized stag out there. All right, let's check out the location that we're at right now. We're over here by Saltfinger Shore, and over here along the edge of this road is right where they're bedded. We have red deer, we have fallow, and we have axis deer all right here. But I think the one that I'm most interested in is possibly this axis buck. And mainly because we haven't seen one yet, and also because the angle could just work with a shot using the 22250. There's a foul there, but I don't see any bucks in that herd, so pretty sure there might just be one female over there. Anyways, let's get ready and go for a shot on this axis steer. And the thing about this is we can only use the 22250. The uh, AR-308 is a little bit too big. So let's see if we can't take a shot. Shot looked good. All right, we got a female fallow, female fallow. Is it just me or is this 22 to 50 really quiet and none of these deer even really heard it? I mean, yeah, they definitely heard it, but they're not spooking. They're just a tad bit nervous. There's our stag. Got him. He is going down. All right, tell me we got a double. Oh, we did get a double. All right, so we got our axis and we got our red deer. There we go. That's pretty cool. The percentage did not drop very fast on that axis, but the shot looked almost perfect. We basically held it right in front of that hind quarter. He was quartering pretty much directly away from us. So no matter what, we should have for surely gotten liver and or lung. There it is. We literally ran right past it and almost didn't even see it. But we got a nice vital hit right here from that access buck. And he ran over this way. Got some more pretty good blood going this way. And here we have our first axis of Australia. Here we go. That's pretty cool. Shot was 231 yards out and made a nice left lung shot there on the axis 101.3. Let's take a look at him. He's not that big, but he's also not tiny either. So not a bad buck to start out. And if you look closely, it literally led us right to this red deer. I'm talking within 40 yards away from this red deer stag. Let's pick it up. Got a right lung shot. And that was a 250 yard walking shot there. Just missed the front of the heart on the walk and a 165. Again, you can tell the fur is a little bit different on the red deer as well. Take a look at that. I like it. It looks a little bit more, you know, kind of masculine and majestic looking. It looks more tough. I like that. No way our first sighting of a sandbar deer. It's only a female, but that means there could be a male somewhere nearby. I think I see one. Oh my God, I saw a rack. I definitely saw a rack. That means there's a male. Ooh, we found the wild boar. I was tracking a max weight feral pig from before, and I never actually did get a chance to find it. So there's a chance he could be over there. But right now, what we're trying to do is find one of these sandbar deers. And we have the bow, so we could always, always go for a shot with the bow. That way we don't potentially spook these feral pigs. Because I'd like to get that nice one over there. There's a two there. This sandbar deer is only 50 yards out. That's definitely in range. Oh, look at that rack. Nice buck. Nice buck. Get off the track. Get off the track. Oh, nice one. Nice buck. He's 50 yards out. 
Smoked him, baby! Perfect shot! Nice sandbar buck is down. We could probably go for that one as well, but that one's angled a little bit too much. All right, so let's try and make our way over here and get a better look at these feral pigs. Because I did, in fact, have a track from a max weight one over there somewhere. Got a female, female. There's that two. That'll work. Let's go for that. 150 yards out. Let's try and double up here. Or maybe we'll only get one. Well, we definitely got one. The other one. Oh, hold up. Oh my god, we found the max weight. We found the max weight pig. That was him. That was him. I knew he was in there. Oh my god, I knew he was in there. Oh. Well, if we were just a little bit more patient, we would have been able to spot that max weight pig and snuck up on him to be able to take a nice shot. But, that's alright. We still got some pretty awesome animals down. Including our first ever big sambar buck. And now we're going to go over here and take a look at him. Which is huh, literally right here. We've walked right past him. There he is. What a buck. What a rack. What a buck. Man, that was awesome. Let's take a look at him. It's going to be a 140 gold. We pulled off a 55 yard heart shot, baby. Nothing but heart. Nothing but heart. Straight through the heart. Oh my God. That's what I'm talking about. Holy, what a heck of a shot. Wow. I am just stunned at that shot placement there. Wow. But there he is. What a sweet looking sandbar. I wasn't sure what these things were going to look like. But to me, they kind of remind me of, I don't know, like an elk and a sika deer mixed with a mule deer. Just all kinds of cool uh, features in one. I really, really like that. Wow, that's awesome. Yep. I think I'm going to like these. And I love the color of this as well. I'm not sure what color this is. It's a dusky gradient. He weighed 630 pounds. Holy, a 140, and we need 166 to be diamond. So he's only like 20 points off. That's a pretty good one. That's a really, really good one. As a matter of fact, I think we'll probably get him out it, especially because of the fact that we took him down with the bow as well. All right, there we go. We got him mounted, and let's get back over there to find our feral pig as well as track down that massive one that we just saw a little while ago. Now, we spotted him. Something tells me we took down a couple more than just one over here because it's kind of hard to find something if it doesn't bleed, you know? Oh, 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 I found some blood. Oh, I found some blood. Not even sure what this one is, but I definitely found some blood. So maybe our shot wasn't as good as I thought. Maybe we were too far forward and dropped a little bit low. I'm not sure. But what I am sure of is... Okay, that's a red fox. We do have the track from our max weight, Feral Hawk. So that should be the two. I'm very curious where in the heck we hit this thing. Oh! Huh. Yeah, we were a little bit too far forward. Got him right in the shoulder. But our first feral pig down. And those don't really look a lot different. They look very similar. Maybe a little bit shorter hair. But other than that, they look very similar. We will, however, check out that big one once we find him, though. And I just lost tracks. Let's get back up here. Oh. Did it turn back around? Ooh, it turned around. Right here. Oh, no, it didn't. It went... Oh, it cut left. Okay, I see what happened. We went down that way, and it went this way. Man, I'm just pumped that we already have a nice sandbar buck down. That is awesome. And we took him with the bow. 50 yards. Made a perfect hard shot. Are you kidding me? Like, wow. And there he is sitting right there. Yeah, there he is. All right. There's a chance we could swing wide right just a little bit and go for a quartering away shot. All we need to do is get about 50 yards more to the west side. And there's a chance those vitals might open up. 
You guys, look at where he's at. Look at where he's at. Right next to our ATV. Talk about a perfect setup. If we can sneak over here, take down this hog here, we can literally jump back on the ATV, get over here, unlock this outpost, and then hunt for some crocs. Like, holy! Look at what just jumped up right here, you guys. Oh my god, there's a massive mythical red deer. Better out there at about 150 yards out from us. We may try and sneak up on him with the bow. So yeah, what a sight. What a perfect setup to be able to sneak up on him, though. He's just on the backside of that ridge, right there. Wow, you could literally belly crawl right to him. You really could. All right, so if that's the case, that means we're going to have to probably try and take this hog down with a bow as well. Oh my god, that's him. Look at the size of that hog. Holy, he's only 90 yards out from us. He's got a minimum estimate of 128 all the way to 155. I believe like 150 is diamond. So he's going to be giant. He'll probably be like a 138, maybe close to 140. Either way, this is awesome. And yeah, we're going to try and take him down with the bow because we're less than 100 yards out. And I'd like to be able to get that massive mythical stag as well. All right, so there's the three. The three just bedded down right there. And the four is just to the right side. In fact, there's the four right there, 70 yards out from us. Now that is in range for a shot, but we want to get just a little bit closer. I think we might go for a shot right there, 70 yards. I'm going to zero for 65, and we're going to hold for the inside of that lung. Oh, the one time we didn't get any rays. I don't quite understand why it dropped so much. 70 yards. Oh, you know what? I feel kind of dumb, but also really happy at the same time. Because for the longest time, if you took a 70 yard shot and you zeroed in for a 65, you would actually hit right on at 70 yards because this thing shoots high. But. I think what they did is they actually fixed it to where now 70 yards is 70 yards. Let's try that again. I mean, we just checked, right? Watch this. That is exactly 73 yards. Well, depending on what part of the marker you use, if we go like that, that's 75. Wow. We might have something big here. Un believable okay this part's kind of difficult to explain but basically for the longest time the bow and arrow has always shot in about five yards higher than what it should for instance if you zero in for 20 and the animal's 20 yards you're gonna shoot high you're gonna hit him in the spine so i'd always have to compensate a little bit lower hold for low lung top of the heart that way if i got any raise at all it'd still be center lung same thing with 40 if you took a 40 yard shot you could hit him in the spine so you gotta hold low every single time but now it seems that you don't have to do that anymore. I think no longer are we ever going to have to estimate what the raise of our shot with the bow is going to be again. I think it's honestly going to be dead on. I'm kind of surprised, but let's try and get to 60. All right, so right here is 60 yards, exactly 65 to be precise. And we're going to hold for that closest tracer arrow right there. That's the wind. That's dead on. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I didn't know they did this. I did not know they did this. And I'm so used to playing on the regular map where it does shoot high, so you have to hold a little bit low or just zero in for, you know, a little bit shorter of distance from what it actually is. And you could compensate for it just right. For instance, this is 32 yards, so 40. Let's back up a little bit. I'm a little disappointed that we didn't make a shot on that hog, which we should have smoked him, but... Um, watch this. That's dead on. That is dead on, and I bet that's 40 yards. Yeah, 37 yards. 
so it's it is dead on um well now we got to figure out where he went though after all that we finally tracked him down and messed up the shot but it wasn't really our fault like i said before it used to shoot high it really did and now we know it doesn't anymore it is spot on accurate all right, so they should be right over this ridge here. If you look closely, there's a nice little opening down in this ravine. And I bet they're going to be bedded right in there somewhere. I thought I saw him, but that wasn't him. They should be right down here. Right there they are. Oh my god, they're right there. Look at this. And there he is, right there. 100 yards away from us. Okay, this time, we know right where to hold. I'm so excited to be able to actually get to 65 yards, all for 65, and make a perfect shot. I am so excited for this. It's not even funny, because I've been waiting so long for this to happen. All right, there he is right there, 60 yards out. We can't get any closer or we won't have a shot. Look at that. We would honestly have to be like right on top of them to get a shot off. All right, we're talking 60 yards right there. So if we zero for 65, we should hit just a little bit high, but the wind is pushing back in our face. Looked like a perfect shot and it was. Holy, what a shot you guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited that they did this. Finally, I'm so excited. Come on, bring it on. These hogs are trying to attack us. I don't think that's the greatest idea, especially the fact that we're sitting here with the AR-308 and a lot of bullets. Yep, I would not recommend it, pig. If I was you, I would just run away like the other ones. Oh man, that was so cool. Quartering almost directly away at 60 yards. We held right for the center. And uh, compensate for a little bit of the wind push. And honestly, we put that thing right on the money. Went 25 yards and piled up. Look at how far back we hit that thing. Right in the center. Right where that F is right there, actually. If you look closely, you can see it is right there. What a shot. And a massive pig. Look at the size of this thing. We finally got him, you guys. We put a lot of work and effort into this thing, and we finally got him. Actually missed him at 65 yards once, but that wasn't really our fault. And now, we got him at 65 yards out, and we smoked him. It's going to be a 133 gold, and it's a brown hybrid. Took him at 62 yards and pulled off a perfect left lung shot. Look at that angle that he was at. We literally had hardly anything to hit. If we would have hit back here, we would have hit hind quarter. So even though it shows that's lung, that's actually not lung. That would have been hind quarter. That would have been a flesh hit. We literally had from right here to right here. You're talking maybe three inches to hit. And we nicked the edge of it. So that was an epic, epic shot. 133 and we need 144 for a diamond. But that was a 400 pound barrel pig. Look at the size of that thing. And you know what? Let's get him mounted because that was a beast of a hog. Wow, that was something else. That was something else. Look at this. We tracked him for 3.16 miles. 3.16 miles. Holy. Oh my god, you guys, look what we just found. A whole herd of Bantang. Now, I don't know what size is a big size Bantang, but I'd say that's probably a good one right there. He's about 250 yards out, and the wind is decent. Oh, now that is a big one. Oh my god, 1,600 to 1,700 pounds. Oh, and there's even another one out there. Oh my god, those things are massive. 1,500, 1,500 to 1,600. 
That's definitely the biggest one out there. Look at the horns on that. All right, guys. We're going to try and take down a Bantang with a compound bow right now. Boy, look at how cool this is. This is our first sighting ever of a Bantang on Australia. And there's a massive herd. Look at them all. Oh my god, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Bantang, including this massive level 4, right there at 180 yards out. Now that, maybe an albino. I think that may be an albino Bantang, you guys. Look at the pink nose. Oh my god. Yup, I would say it's an albino. Then we got some really cool colored ones up in here. Couple of dark colored ones in there, orange ones. As we're sneaking over here, it actually just started to rain and I looked up and I thought, what in the heck is that? But none other than a hot air balloon is floating right in front of us here. So, um, yeah, that's pretty unique. We're less than 115 yards out from these Bantang here and it just started raining. Next thing you know, we got this hot air balloon floating over the top of us. It really caught the corner of my eye. But, let's try and stay focused here on these Bantang. And the big one is right over that ridge. Right over there. But that is definitely an albino. A rare albino Bantang. Not bad for our first herd of Bantang. Alright guys, we're about to be in range here. We're 80 yards out from this massive bedded Bantang. Look at the horns on that thing. Wow, is that cool. Wow. It's right over that ledge. And it's also really cool that the albino is out there as well. I mean, you can clearly see it from a mile away that that is a rare albino bantang. Look at that. Even in the rain, you can tell. But we're going to focus on this massive four first in hopes that the rare doesn't spook and there's a chance it might not there he is 65 yards perfectly in range for a shot you guys he's quartered directly away from us and we have the 600s we got a little bit of crosswind but not much oh we got more crosswind than what i thought we hit him way far back Way far back. Wow. I didn't anticipate on that happening. We got him right in the intestine. It will take him down for sure. Down to 25%. You know, we may have actually gotten liver. We may have gotten liver. And there's our rare albino. It didn't spook. I can't believe at 65 yards, the wind would push it that much. I just can't believe that. There's no way we got liver because the percentage, or I should say the um, hunting pressure level is still not even up yet. But, all right, there she is right there. She's about 80 yards out from us. Look at how cool that is. Man, that's awesome. Again, a really tough angle for a shot. That's a cool looking band tank too. It's a female, but it's still cool. There's that four. Um... Not as big as the four that we just got, but let's see if we can't pull off a shot on this one. 78 yards. I'm thinking if we hold for intestine, it should push wide right, and that would give us a shot on this Bantang. Yeah, can't get any closer. They already know we're here. 75 yards. Smoked him. Perfect shot. Throw one more into him. There we go. That'll take her down. Holy, these things are tough. Are you kidding me? She's going to pile up right there. But oh my God, are they tough. But here we go, you guys. Our rare albino Bantang is piled up right here. Man, that was awesome. Let's take a look at this. In fact, let's take a cool picture of that as well. Oh. There we go. Pretty cool. 
Let's pick it up. It's an albino. And our first shot was apparently the only shot that... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Our first shot missed. Our first shot didn't get any push to the right at all. Like, that makes any sense. But then our second shot got double lung, liver, and stomach. And that shot was 70 yards out. But there we have it. Our first look at a rare albino Bantang. And we took him down with the bow. What a sweet looking Bantang. Man, and that's only a female. Imagine how cool the, the males are going to look. I was going to say the bull. I think they'd be called bulls, right? Yeah, probably the bull. The bulls are going to look really cool. But that was a 1,400 pound rare albino Bantang. And 137 is diamond. So, ooh, those big fours are going to be close. That one with the 125 minimum. Wow, that's going to be close. Even though it's not a perfect shot, we can't complain too much about that. What is that noise? Fox, 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 fox. I'm zoomed in too much. Got him. Woo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? It is not easy to take down a running fox with the 22-250 and the sniper scope at less than 100 yards running. I'll tell you that. It zooms in so much that it's so difficult to be able to tell where you hit. Okay, spine shot. That makes sense. We're a little bit high. Zero for 165. It was only 75 yards on the run. And that is why it didn't drop. Got a couple more fox out there as well. Hey, what? Let's see if we can't make a nice shot on this fox. We'll bust out the 220, uh, 22 to 50 for 250 yards. And let's see how flat this thing shoots. I mean, can you say absolutely money? Like, seriously? It's so accurate, it's not even funny. We freaking hit that fox two times on the run, maybe even three. Wow. But here we go. Our first big Bantang down. We took him down with a bow. Let's take an awesome look at this thing. I love the horns on these. I love the horns. All right. Let's pick him up. It's going to be a 134.27. Almost a diamond. I knew he was giant. Don't worry. I knew he was giant. Our shot was arguably a little bit high. He was quartered directly away, just like this. We we're aiming for right here, but we still would have gotten high lung for sure. Um, but the wind pushed it, I'm talking almost three feet back. And we got him way back in the hind quarter, which was a bit unfortunate, but we did get him. And he's an awesome looking Bantang. In fact, he's almost diamond. Look at the size of that thing. He is absolutely massive and stunning. He looks like the perfect version of a bull. He really does. I like that a lot. Man, these things are going to be fun to hunt. Imagine taking one down with a recurve bow. Oh. All right, here's our fox. And our shot was a nice right lung shot. Right lung and shoulder at 233 yards hit right on the money. Perfect shot. That was a three very easy female. And look what we have piled over here, guys. That's our second fox. He didn't go very far either. We hit him, I do believe, two times, maybe even three times. First shot got him in the intestine spine on the run. Second shot got him one more time, and we hit him... Don't know where, but 260 yards out, and that was a six hard. So he was close enough to be gold. Actually, he would have been gold. 10.27. But we didn't get a vital hit, so still pretty cool to take him on the run and make a decent hit like that. Whoa! We got Bantang right down here. I really hope I didn't spook them all. I know I spooked some. Let's take a look over here and see if we can't find a good size one. Well, there's one right there as a matter of fact. Boy, is that a nice one. So these are actually class 9 animals. That means you could hunt these with the 470 Nitro. Wow, that would be something, wouldn't it? Let's watch this guy and see what he does. Because I'd really like to be able to get another one of these big Bantang, but not mess up the shot like we just did. 
Oh, you guys, we found out where they're going to feed. They're feeding right down there. The three is right there. That means that big four has got to be over there, too. We last saw him heading this direction, so he shouldn't be too far away. Let's ease your ways over this ridge and see if we can't spot him. And there he is right there. He's less than 130 yards out from us. We just look over this ridge here and we found this massive herd of Bantang. That's the one that we just saw from before. Wait, what is that? There's something bedded over there. A hog deer. Oh, no way. That's cool. Our first sighting of a hog deer. It's a female, but that's still pretty cool. Nonetheless, these massive Bantang are right out here. We're talking 120 yards out, and there is our huge four. Remember, 136 and up is diamond, I believe. So this thing is really close to diamond potential. We're kind of coming in from the top side over here, looking down this valley. And he's laying right there, alongside of the rest of these Bantang as well. There's the other good bull over there, about 80 yards out from us. He's in range as well. And the wind is slowly blowing that direction, but he's not quite as big, so I think we'll be safe. Oh, this guy just got up. He is 67 yards out, but he's quartering directly away from us. Now, the only thing we could possibly do is potentially go for a hard shot, but I am not going to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and close the distance. We're going to try and get into 40 yards out. And at that point, he's probably going to stand up, turn, maybe give us an opportunity for a shot and we're gonna have to make it happen all right looks like that female is moving over there i want to check to see how long they're gonna feed her for till 10 o'clock we got about five minutes five minutes to pull back and let one fly five minutes oh what's happening Oh my god, they're moving past us. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Maybe we don't have five minutes. That's 30 yards out. We just absolutely smoked that giant Bantang. Like, Kunt made a much more perfect shot. He's gonna fall over right there. Holy, that was so cool. There goes another one over there as well. That's at three. He's only like 60 yards out, but he's taken off. Wow, that was so cool. The female started walking past us first, right? And I knew that if we had full cover, the rest of them should have went right past. And sure enough, he was the second one back. We drew back, made sure it was him, and took the shot. But here he is piled up right here. Oh my God, we finally got one down. Finally. And he should be a big gold. It's gonna be a 123 gold. Pull off a 26 yard, perfect double lung shot. I mean, absolutely smoked that thing. You can see the heart is way up here, but we went right through both lungs, 26 yards, and a 1,582 pound Bantang is down. This thing was a black, but look at that. Oh my God, is that awesome? Wow. Holy. That is something special right there. You know, it kind of reminds me of like a big Texas Longhorn, but in the shape of a bull. That's what it reminds me of. Whatever it is, it's perfect. It fits this map absolutely perfect. And now I see why they added these. Because these things are absolutely stunning. So we kicked up another big Bantang right here. And we actually may be able to pull off a shot here at about 55 yards. Oh my god, he's hit. Might have got him a little bit too far forward. No, we did it. Holy, we pulled off a shot. He is hit, you guys. Unbelievable. We pulled off a trotting 55-yard lung shot. What a shot. 
We just jumped these up and I was thinking, well, there may be a decent one in there. And sure enough, I spotted a nice four in the middle. And I thought, there's a chance we might be able to cut them off and get a shot off. We held that lead just right, let one fly, and we smoked another beautiful Bantang. And here he is piled up right here. It's going to be our biggest one yet, a 129 gold. We pulled off a 63-yard trotting lung shot. Just missed the front of the heart there as he was trotting at 63 yards away. But that's a 1,600-pound Bantang. There we go. Oh, that was so cool as well. Back-to-back -back beautiful Bantangs down. And especially taking them down with the bow. Well, we got eyes on our first sign of the saltwater crocodile. There we have it. 275 pounder. I'd imagine that's probably not that big, but it is in fact a male. Oh, that could be him. That could be him. Oh my God, there it is. Oh my God, there it is. No way, no freaking way. How cool is that? How cool is that? Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Holy. Oh, shot him right in the head. No. Oh, we smoked a tree. We freaking smoked a tree right where he was. Dude, this tree just saved that alligator's life. Look at that. It was going perfectly right for that gator. And it freaking smoked that tree and went right through. Look at that. Look at that animation. Hey, our gator came back up, you guys. Look at that. We got him. We got him after all. So, I don't know. One of those shots must have connected. I have absolutely no clue which one it was. Uh, spine shot. The first shot is what took him down. So, he was running right towards us. We went right over the top of the head. Got him in the spine. But, let's take a look at how cool these things are. Our first ever saltwater crocodile. Wow, these are special. The color on these things. The design. The texture of the tail spikes and everything and the teeth and the feet and that. wow these things are they're kind of blowing my mind at this point that's only a small male imagine the big males Ooh, that'll do it that'll do it we got a six right there oh not only do we have a six we have two sixes we have uh, and then we have another one and there's another one. Oh my god there's a whole family of crocodiles oh no Oh, this is something else here. I don't really even know what to think about this situation that we're about to be in. We literally have four male crocodiles right here. We got a four, we got a five, and we got two sixes. That one is not too happy. Um, but this six here is probably the biggest one. We do have a good win though. So that's not a bad thing. And then there's a four over there. Oh wow, that is not a good idea to go over there. Even if somehow we managed to take a shot on one of these, I don't exactly want to go over there to get them. <laughs> Let's just say that I, uh, that is not on my priorities to go over there and get that thing. This is just, wow. Uh, Holy, there he is. 40 yards away from us. Oh, I knew he's going to be close. That's not the right one though. Is that the one? Uh, I think that might be the big one there. That one's only 50 yards out from us. Okay, this experience here, I can't explain to you guys. You'll just have to believe me. But I am absolutely freaking out right now inside. Okay, that's the biggest one there. His head is facing that way. I can't exactly tell where his vital is though. Oh my god, there he is. Oh my god! 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 He's 50 yards out, coming right towards us. We don't have a shot just yet. We're trying to remain calm. We are trying to remain calm. He's walking behind that tree. Let's try and slide over a little more. Oh! He stopped. How far is he now? He stopped. Right between that brush. 54 yards! We gotta get a little bit closer. 
We're absolutely going to have to be able to thread and needle that thing right through there. Holy. That is going to be one of the most difficult shots we'll take today. But if we can do it, it's going to be incredible. We got to go right through there at 45 yards. 48 yards should do. All right, that's going to do. 48 yards. We're going over the top. Oh, we got him far back again, but we definitely hit something good because holy is he dropping fast. He's already piled up. Oh, you guys. Oh my God, you guys. Oh, Texas heart shot. Smoked him. Right in the throat. Smoked him. He's going down. Oh, here they come. Here they come. Another great shot. Oh, perfect neck shot. He's going down right there. Dude, we are absolutely just dominating these crocodiles with the bow and arrow. Uh, I think there's one more maybe, but uh, I don't know. I guess he might have might have chickened out and took off. Here we go. Let's take a look. This is the four, and we made a double lung shot. That was a Texas hard shot right there. 577. And this one, I believe, we actually got him in the neck. Because he didn't go 20 yards and piled over. Uh, spinal cord lung shot. Hey, we got ourselves a gold. 760 gold. There, we finally got ourselves a gold. Just barely a gold, but that is a gold. That was the smaller of the two. Let's take a look at that. There we go. And um, just in case this one, this other one might not make gold, we'll come back and pick them up in a second, but, cause I'm not sure. Um, blood here, and I thought he ran over here. Oh, he is piled up right here. Okay. Yeah, we had him really far back, but I had a feeling. Wait a second. How did that not... Oh, he wasn't big enough. Dude. Our shot was perfect. I thought we hit him far back, and we did. But we actually got double lung and liver as he was laying there. This is a cool-looking croc, though. This one's a little bit different color than the other one. This is a gray crocodile. 48 yard double lung liver shot. That's what we pulled off in a 752. But he wasn't big enough to be gold. So imagine that. The one with the higher estimate did not make gold. But a sweet looking croc. That's for sure. So now we'll get back over here and pick up this gold. Because we finally did, in fact, get a gold saltwater crocodile. Yep, there he is. It's a dark brown. Cool looking one as well. 760. And we pulled off a spine lung shot at 40 yards as he was coming at us there. There we go. Big old gold saltwater crock down with the bow. But that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.